Hey guys, thanks for having me. Certainly would have loved to be there in person tonight, uh, but hopefully there's something in this video that, that you can find valuable and will help you uh, in your journey at, at Grand Fork Central. You know, when Mr. Dahl asked me to, to throw this video together, it's, it's felt a little bit like I was back in high school. Um, asked for a couple extensions, uh, getting it in just under the wire, and, uh, and hopefully it's there in time. And, and again, it's useful. Uh, and first lesson is, um, if you have that habit like I do, try and break it now uh, when, you're, when you're entering high school. Uh, you'll be a much better student and, and much better thereafter. So I'm not sure what the introduction looked like. My name is Brooks Bollinger. Uh, basically, more or less, I'm, I'm an old guy that, that sat in the seat you're sitting in tonight and, and, and played a bunch of sports at Grad Fork Central and uh, kind of built my foundation there. Uh, went on to, to play for a little bit uh, after that and, and uh, just wanted to spend some time with you tonight and, and share some of the things that I learned, I think, along the way. And, and, and really, I guess, as I look at this, it's if I think of myself sitting in the chair you're sitting in tonight, you know, uh, what would I want to say to myself as I just entered that chapter? Um, you know, Mr. Ames used to say uh, in field biology, you know, he said, you know, you, you got your book to write, you got your story to write, and it's filled with a bunch of blank pages and it's it's up to you to fill those pages and and that's that's where you're headed and uh it's it's an exciting time i'm i'm, I'm excited for you guys um because i you know i think one of the things i learned early on when i left grand fork central was i left and to be honest i was going to wisconsin to play football and i was playing with guys from all over the country right la jersey chicago everywhere in between and uh, it was certainly a great gift. I, I developed long lasting relationships with guys from all over the country. But I think when I was going into that, I thought, well, I'm just from North Dakota, right? A small place. Um, and um, there's a lot that I have to learn. And, and there certainly was. But, but I think what I realized in my experience was I was so well prepared and so well positioned um, to be a leader. Uh, because of the foundation that was built for me at Grand Fork Central and, and the people I had around me and the teammates I had and the experiences uh, that really propelled me into every situation I was put in, whether that was in college or, or into the NFL. And, you know, I, I don't think I fully had um, the understanding of that going into it. And uh, it is certainly such a gift. And, and I guess my message to you is, uh, you're really lucky to be sitting where you're sitting today. And basically from the seat you're in today, anything's possible. And you can shoot for the stars and, and achieve great things, but you know, even if you don't get to play in the NFL or whatever sport you choose, uh, running the Olympics, whatever it might be, there's so much value in, in, in being, that, you, that you're gonna get from the environment you're in today and participating in athletics at Grand Fork Central that are going to help you be a better mother, father, um, spouse, uh, employee, and whatever your profession becomes. So uh, just know that it's, it's, an, it's an unbelievable opportunity that you have sitting right in front of you um, to grow up and challenge yourself um, in the environment you're in today. So my advice is, is, is take advantage of that. Shoot your shot, you know, don't miss an opportunity. Um, you know, I think the first thing I tell you is show up. All right. It, I, I, I remember, I'll never forget my, my first team meeting playing. I played varsity football as a freshman and showing up to that first team meeting, there's, there's, seniors that were grown men right and i was not right i was i was a boy and had a long way to go and i was i was nervous uh to be sitting in that room and to be a part of it and uh coach berg addressing the team and i mean i was more nervous for that meeting than i was for my first meeting with the dallas cowboys um and but but i showed up right and i kept showing up and I, I became part of a team and guys took me under their wing and it wasn't comfortable. But I, I think the thing that you learn as you go on is that's when you grow, right? That's when you have the opportunity to, to become better is when you put yourself in, in, in uncomfortable situations. And um, 
that might be doing an event and track that you've never done before, trying a new sport, maybe it's trying an instrument, but you have such a great environment right now to go out and stretch yourself. And it's not always easy and it certainly isn't comfortable, but, but it, it will, there's so much value in just showing up, being a part of it and pushing yourself. And um, so I, I encourage every one of you to, to not just, you know, sign up maybe for the sport you're comfortable in, uh, but also to, to try some new things, try some new positions um, in, in, in other sports and, and stretch yourself a little bit. Uh, it takes a little bit of courage, uh, but it's going to pay great, great dividends over the long run again, because that's one thing you see over and over in life is change is constant and uh, you have a great platform to kind of develop that skill uh, today through athletics uh, at Grand Fork Central. I think one of the things that was really hard for me to learn in sports, and I think one of the great gifts I got beyond the relationships that I developed was I got to fail a lot more than most people, right? When, when you put yourself out there and you show up, you're gonna fail, you're gonna succeed, and you're gonna have some fun with some wins, uh, but you're gonna fall on your face. And, you know, for me, I, I, I got the special added gift of failing on national TV and, and, and failing publicly at times. And it, it took me a long time in my career to be able to really understand how to deal with that. And there's so much value um, and so much learning that goes on from the failures and human nature for us is to hide from those failures, right? Is to, to, to try and pretend like they didn't happen or sweep them under the rug um, and then celebrate the wins and, and focus on those. And, and I think you should, you should play to win all the time and you should celebrate those victories that you get to experience. And hopefully there's a lot of them. Hopefully you guys are, um, you know, filling those trophy cases up but there's also great value when you fall down right when, when you don't win the race when you come up short when you don't play your best i remember uh freshman year football playing quarterback and probably my first big game of my life um was playing west fargo on homecoming and i i don't know what i exactly the stats were they weren't good right I threw three or four interceptions and and I think one late and we lost a game and uh you know I just remember being devastated and you know I still remember that to this day um and at the time I I think that there's there was a more of a want to hide from it rather than than embrace it and learn from it and and pick your teammates up and and go forward so um you know, I think the, the the thing with the failures is you you got to look them straight in the eye. You got to take everything you can from them, and then you move on, right? You don't you don't dwell on them. You don't let them define you, but you learn everything you can from them, and uh, and again you you face straight up to them. Um, the other thing that I think you can't forget is the relationships are are some of the most important thing one of the most important things that you're gonna uh, take from from the experience of of playing sports and uh, like i said earlier you guys you guys get to grow up in the best place in the world right and and you have some of the best families and teachers and coaches and those relationships are going to last your entire lifetime so don't forget to have fun all right when you show up every day you you, you know you had a tough day in school, you got some drama going on, whatever. The playing field is a great time to wipe all that clean, spend a couple hours and just put a smile on your face and enjoy every minute of it, okay? You don't get to do this for the rest of your life, all right? These, these opportunities um, to have that recess after school or after work, they go away. And while you have them, take advantage of them and don't have a bad day on the field, okay? There is, um, there's no bad days on, on, on the field. You get to go out and play a game. So enjoy every minute. And I would challenge each of you in that to look outside yourself a little bit. I think that um, 
you know, I think we live in a world today where that's getting harder and harder, right? You got your Snap and your Insta and all the other ones I don't even know about, um, where it's, it, it's a lot focused on you, right? How do I feel today? How am I playing today? What are my stats like? And, and I think to truly have joy when you're playing a game and to truly get the value out of it, you got to look outside yourself. How do I be a better teammate? How do I make her day better? How do I make his day better? How do I make them a better player today? And how do I show up in a way that isn't just advancing, um, you know, my game or my play, but is, is making everybody's day around me a little bit better? And I, I think if you go in with that mindset every day, you're going to have fun without even trying, right? Just And again, I think, as I, I said before, and I know this is probably deeper and more philosophical than you guys wanted, but, um, you know, there's, this is also true in life, right? And, and in sports, all you get is you get an, more chances to practice what you want to do in your everyday life. Right? You get these accelerated opportunities um, to, to grow yourself and grow those people around you. Over the course of your life, they happen. The seasons are much longer. You, you, know, you don't get to, to experience these things quite as frequently. But I think if, if you show up every day with a smile on your face and, and work to put um, smiles on, on your teammates' faces, you're going to have a great experience. Um, so I think, you know, those are just a few um, quick things, you know. Have gratitude for where you're sitting today. It's a, it's a special place um, that uh, you, can, you can accomplish anything you want to. So it's your responsibility. Show up. Show up in every way you can. Uh, in the school, on the playing field, as many teams as you can. Show up. Be involved. All right? Enjoy the wins, but man, celebrate those failures, right? The little ones, okay? Practice games, whatever, embrace them, learn from them, be better for them, grow, grow, grow. Have some fun, right? Have some fun and be invested in the people around you. Put a smile on their face, okay? And just remember at the end of the day, I think it's important to think through all this stuff because the, the goal here isn't to get anywhere else. I think a lot of us in, in today's sports world, you're playing to get to the NFL or you're playing to get a college scholarship or you're playing to make the next team. Um, and, I, and that's all great. And you should swing for every one of those goals um, and, and enjoy the journey. But as a guy who did have that opportunity, uh, and you might say, hey, it's easy for you to say, um, that's not the most important thing. It, it's it's a great ride and it's great to accomplish those goals, whatever they might be. Um, but the real value you're going to get at the end of the day is is this um, journey on on the way to becoming the best you can possibly be, the best version of yourself. And and all these sports are are a great environment um, to do that. So I probably rambled on too long. Um, but it's, it's a place I'm passionate about and, uh, you know, I, uh, I'm pulling for each and every one of you to go out and, and do your best and, and have fun and I'll, uh, I'll be watching from afar. So take care and, and, uh, go get them. Have fun.